Hey Brainiacs, thank you for tuning in to another episode of My Humble Opinion. I am at Cam's Brain and I appreciate you guys for tuning in yet again for another episode. We have been talking about the 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. And today is the day that we talk about the fifth law of power. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. You can intimidate people and win at life through your reputation alone. But if you lose your reputation, you will be vulnerable to attack from all sides. If you want to destroy enemies, besmirch their reputation. So yeah, this is a very interesting one. Being aware of the fact that what you do means something. This kind of talks about what we were talking about last episode, where it's a situation where you got to say less. Saying less turns into this situation here where you have to be aware of your reputation and making sure people making sure that you are a great representation of what you want people to know and see about you right at the end of the day you know you learn these type of life lessons when you start high school or when you start really i learned it when i start middle school middle school was one of those gray areas where when I went to middle school, I was technically part of a high school and I started to realize your reputation, whether you were a scared person, whether you were a smart person or whether you were a promiscuous person. I learned very quickly that those things attach themselves to you, especially when you're talking about moving forward in life and understanding that the things that you do uh, have a consequence and it has a, um, a history, right? Like, period. People are going to remember a lot of things based on your actions and the things that you decide to do. One thing that I learned uh, very early on, I feel like I've shared this before. I met a guy um, that I used to work with and he had a, uh, me and him had a disagreement and he made a statement. Uh, he said, I know whether I did something or not, not because I remember the situation, but because I know who I am and I know what I would and what I wouldn't do. That's all about reputation. That's all about knowing who you are reputation is kind of also like what martin luther king says like you judge a person by the content of their character reputation has to do with character has to do with loyalty has to do um sometimes with privilege probably a lot of times with privilege depending on what uh type of uh, world you live in what type of area you live in demographically so on and so forth but um yeah it's very important to guard that with your life because at the end of the day sometimes that's all you have how i always do i translate things into a spiritual situation and into a business situation i used to always tell my customers my business is only as good as what you tell somebody else right that's all reputation it didn't matter how many times i posted online it didn't matter how many times i try to undersell and over deliver what really mattered was if the person that I was dealing with can understand that I was doing the best that I can based on my reputation, they're going to share their experience. They're going to say, hey, he, you know, this person did a great job in this situation or this person did a great job in that situation. And that reputation follows you so much further than, you know, being able to just talk out of your mouth and say what people want to hear. My father used to always have a saying, you can make your mouth say anything. And that's true. At the end of the day, your actions are going to always speak louder. Your reputation is a, um, a direct result of your actions. So being very, very aware of your actions, being very, very aware of your reputation and guarding that is important. Now, as always, these sayings from this book, uh, a lot of times have somewhat of a negative connotation to them because it's the concept and the art of manipulation. So you also have to be aware of people putting themselves in a situation where they have a fake representation of who they are or a counterfeit reputation of who they are. You may deal with some businesses that have a great website, but um, they're not good people. You may deal with some people that um, speak highly of themselves, but you realize others don't speak highly of them. Or you may have some people that speak highly of themselves and poorly of everyone else around them. That's when you start dealing with narcissistic behaviors and ignorant behaviors, so on and so forth. Same thing spiritually, man. What you have to realize is a lot of people learn uh, how they want to survive life very early on. And it's very hard for them to change 
those attributes about themselves once they are able to really dig in and figure out that this is exactly how they want to be when people start learning that maybe they shouldn't be doing things a certain way and they want to change sometimes it's hard so you also spiritually have to be aware of people who are who misrepresent themselves so that they can get the things that they want you um you know, that can be a girlfriend or a boyfriend that can be a business partner. Some people find out very quickly if they're able to manipulate a situation and to make somebody feel comfortable with them. They're able to get a lot of things in life that they want simply by doing that. Your word, um, or at least nowadays, it doesn't count for too much, but it, it it's weird. It does and it doesn't. Your word should be your most valuable attribute your your behavior should be your 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 best and your most valuable attribute attribute and um i think us as a a community and people we have to get back to that concept of realizing that that's what's the most important i can have everything in this world but if i'm not an honest person or if i've got it in a wrong way spiritually and i'm aware of that you know god may take that all away from me or you know whoever you believe in may take all that away from you at the end of the day navigating life is all about being able to figure out your moral compass your moral compass may be different from others but at the end of the day when you figure out what you know you'll be punished for when you figure out what you know you want to change about yourself or what you know uh is true to be right or wrong as it relates to how you move and you continue to do the wrong thing that's when you get into an area where you're not guarding your reputation with your life you're not doing everything that you can do to be a better person for yourself because at the end of the day right like no matter how much we project ourselves to others we have to live with ourselves even if we're in a relationship a business relationship or a personal or romantic relationship at the end of the day we have to live with the decisions that we make and then once we realize we have to deal with ourselves and then the people that are around us have to deal with us with our our uh, actions um being a direct result and how they affect other people that's when you start to remember and realize that there's a very very important task there there's a very very important thing that you should be doing which is guarding that reputation and everything that comes with it i think one of the one of the most important lessons that i learned as it relates to this statement of guarding my reputation was like i said earlier when i was in business I realized that um, it really didn't matter what I did. It really didn't matter what I sold. It really didn't matter even sometimes what I said to people. What mattered was how I completed the task. It didn't matter if I was, um, it didn't matter what business it was. Um, it just mattered whenever I had that initial interaction with a customer and I was able to listen to what they needed and I was able to project what I was able to do in the best way possible and deliver it in the time frame that I said I would that was everything to the customer it was also everything to me because I gained a sense of accomplishment um, I gained a sense of pride with completing the project and making somebody happy now on the flip side I've experienced the negative aspect of over delivering the situation and even taking somebody's money and realizing that I was not able to do it the way I would have wanted to do it even if they were happy with it I wasn't happy with it and you start to realize that sometimes guarding your reputation is also guarding your own peace also making sure you're being true to who you are as an individual so like I said, that is one lesson that I learned that has stuck with me throughout the years. I like to know what you guys think about this. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, and make sure you subscribe and you turn on those notification bells. I would appreciate that very much. I am at Cam's Brain. I'll see you next time. Peace.